Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, as you can see, we're checking out a burnout with a Honda S2000 and a FLIR T1K thermal camera. It's pretty mesmerizing to watch as the tread surface of the tire raises from about 19 degrees Celsius to over 160 degrees in less than 5 seconds. You can even see the heat the tires lay down onto the ground with perfect lines for the tire grooves. The tires themselves are spitting out bits of melted rubber which coats the ground, rear fender, and inside the wheel wells. And while a simple burnout alone is fascinating, I decided to change the tire pressure left to right to see if there were any differences. The right tire has a pressure of 27 psi, 5 below recommended, while the left tire is at 37 psi, 5 above recommended. Ultimately, it made very little difference as both tires were evenly melted across the tread pattern. There's simply too much friction for too long to notice a significant difference. That said, if we analyze the burnout at a much lower frame rate from the very beginning, we can see that on the underinflated tire, the left portion of the tire heats up first. This is actually because the rear tire is out of alignment and has excessive negative camber, so the load on the tire rests primarily on the inside. If the tire were to have the correct factory alignment, the heating would occur much more evenly. Another fascinating point is that the tire surface temperature in just 4 frames, less than 1 7th of a second, increases from 19 degrees Celsius to 43.5. In less than 2 seconds, the surface temperature of the inside of the tire reaches 160 degrees, or about 320 Fahrenheit. And by 5 seconds, the entire tread is roasting above 160. At this point, I'm completely blinded by tire smoke, and yet the thermal camera sees perfectly clearly. After the burnout, you can see the garage floor covered in hot rubber, and the rear brakes have heated to over 300 degrees Celsius, or about 600 Fahrenheit. The rotors even got a bit of color from getting so hot. The tires themselves have now turned into a pile of debris. It's time for newer, nicer, wider rubber. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.